So girls in the U.S. are hitting puberty at an average of two to three years earlier than the rest of the developed world. That's that's not good, by the way. No. You want you want puberty hitting a, a, a girl at you know 12, 13, 14. and so we see that we're seeing testosterone numbers in in young boys dropping. I think they're fifty percent lower than they were maybe 30, 40 years ago. Yep. That's a real problem. And you know, to what degree is that attributable to skincare? Well, I, I would, I would certainly, it's it's playing a role. A lot of the preservatives, these phthalates and parabens, in uh, I would say with young kids, it's predominantly sunscreen. Mm. You know, because they get they've scared all the moms to death. Like, don't don't you dare let your child be out in the sun. Uh, and if if they are, you know, cover them in this stuff. And so these are all estrogen. Most of these compounds, when you talk about endocrine disruption, are estrogen signaling. And estrogen is great. Like we all we all need it, men, women, uh, girls, boys. But to artificially encourage its production is is leading to again girls in, in the U.S. having periods at much earlier ages and boys' testosterone dropping through the floor. And so it's like, uh, this is probably not a good formula.